part of what I wanted. <laughs> and so I got what I manifested, not what I wanted. There should, I guess, be a distinction. <laughs> Both want and need. Yeah, it's just a um, an amusing little. Uh, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn on my Facebook too. Even though okay. I haven't really needed to do that, but why not? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're we're streaming live now. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't know if anyone's with us yet because we just went live, but <laughs> so hello everyone. Mariam and I are here to talk about I mean it's the fun of manifestation, really. And well, look at this. My background, it looks like like my background is fading into the void. <laughs> This is Silver Lake behind me. You just can't really see it. Maybe it looks like an actual paint. Oh, there you go. There you go. It came into <laughs> a better light. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's um very bright here in Maine. It's only in the 40s in temperature, but it feels like it's in the 80s because there's no wind and the sun is so bright. Um, I first came out here with all kinds of cover and I've been Gypsy Rose Lee stripping <laughs> over the last 10 minutes. This is what I might get even more interesting. Peels <laughs> <laughs> the layers off. <laughs> Ta -da, da -da. Well, anyway, uh, Mariam Sardari and I are here to talk about manifesting Today is going to be a little bit longer. Our Sundays, we don't do 10 to 15 minutes. We run a little longer. And, you know, if you have questions at any point, feel welcome to type them in. Um, today, we're going to take it up a notch. Last week, we were just doing fun, easygoing, casually manifesting little things that make us happy, but have no impact on our lives. Things that we can easily feel neutral about if they show up what joy if they don't show up who cares it's really important when you manifest that you manifest from a place of emotional neutrality on up to just pure open joy if you have any like need or anger or fear in you when you manifest that's what you're going to manifest which is why this week we've been working on fun stuff and for my part I, I have been wanting to see Aurora Borealis. You know, I've seen it a few times in my life and honestly, I could see it every night and feel like it's not enough. I am crazy for those Northern lights. And I got the Aurora Borealis. I also love shooting stars, you know, meteors. You know, I love an active sky. What can I say? I love big thunderstorms. I love hurricanes. I just, the more that's going on up there, the happier I feel. Uh, what can I say? I'm a cosmic soul and I like to feel connected. <laughs> so um, I I do see a lot of meteorites, you know, a lot of meteors, a lot of shooting stars up here in Maine because, you know, I'm in the middle of nowhere and the skies are brilliant every night. Uh, but then one night I photographed a shooting star and you could see the kind of the trail across the sky. That was really, really special for me. And then last night, like every night here, we have the most brilliant sunsets. It's unbelievable. In the summer, we just sit and the, uh, the whippoorwills start singing at the start of sunset and at the end of sunset. And um, so as soon as we hear the whippoorwills, we come out on the porch here and we just sit and it takes like a half hour to an hour, I guess like 45 minutes an hour in the summertime for sunset. and. It just, the owls start singing. It's just very gorgeous. Last night we had a quick sunset, like from start to finish under a half hour. But I noticed while the sun was setting over there, the moon was in the sky over there. It was just a little sliver moon. And um, while in the spring, the sun sets way over there in the winter. And so, I mean, the summer, the sun sets way over there behind the mountain. 
in the summer, it sets directly behind me. There's a, uh, what is that, a 90 degree shift because of where we are up north. So the sun was setting over there and the moon was a sliver moon back here. And we watched the moon was setting and the moon set just as the sun set. It wow. was amazing. I've seen it before where the moon is rising as the sun is setting at opposite ends. I've seen that in the winter in the mountains of central Mexico, but I've never, I don't recall ever seeing watching the sun and moon setting like 45 degrees apart from each other on either side of the mountain behind me wow. as the lake was mirroring everything. And the moon was just a sliver, so it looked like a lit up tower just sinking into the ground. It was so wow. beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. Now, this was going to happen no matter what, just like the aurora borealis happens no matter what, just like meteors happen. But my seeing them and enjoying them, and each one was kind of by happenstance. Like I knew the aurora borealis was going to happen, but I didn't know where. And the fact that I just happened to find myself in the perfect viewing spot, you know, and I know meteorites happen, but the fact that I look up at the night sky and chose to photograph it and there it was, like, I didn't even know I was photographing it until I saw the picture. You know, it's, this is manifestation of beautiful little fun miracles that have no impact on my life, except they bring me joy. And that's very joyous. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Who wouldn't want to see Aurora Borealis? Oh my gosh. Oh my word. I just, I feel so happy. So happy. And I got some great pictures of it. I've shared it all here on my Facebook page. So um, this is why, like today, I was thinking about some of the things that I like need or like, oh, it would be so good effect on my life if this happened. And I didn't have that need feeling. I had more like, okay, so, you know, at some point, this will also very naturally happen, just as these other things did. And it was nice to feel that shift within me. First of all, who wants to carry around the weight of neediness? Exactly. And when we can... You'll keep producing it. I mean, you'll keep manifesting it and mm -hmm. get heavier and heavier. <laughs> exactly. But now I'm carrying around the joy of inspiration, miracles, natural creation. It's very different, lovely. Fantastic. Yes. So today, uh, Mariam is going to lead us on EFT tapping. And before we start, I want to show you guys, um, and Mariam, you let me know if I'm sharing uh, wrong. <laughs> okay. I want to show you guys, um, this is my website, Bonita Woods. And if you go to my website and you click, go to the course and events page, I put the course, Manifest Your Heart's Desires. The course itself, there's a cost. So I'm not telling you to buy the course. What I did was if you go in the free preview, um, ugh, okay. It's going to make you, um, even to get the, okay. Even to get the free preview, you have to go and sign in and I'm not going to do that right now. I signed up because I wanted to show you, but if you go in the free preview under like in right in there for free, I have a couple of handouts. I have this one, create your own reality. And it's just a fun little two page handout of different ways you can play with manifesting, making it fun, using tools, you know, using um, a pendulum or crystal bowl or whatever, just like a fun thing or just, you know, doing it on your own. And we also have a pretty good EFT tapping handout. So you can go into my course and you will have to sign up, but you don't need to like sign up to my online program but you don't need to pay for the course. You can just go and look at the, um, uh, oh, that's my home page. sorry. <laughs> I'm a red hot mess over here. Um, you can just 
go and I believe, yeah, go to the free preview. Well, you still have to register for the, you know, but you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it for the free preview. And um, anyway, so that will be helpful for you. Also, um, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have here um, all of the backup videos that for this uh, session, along with a few hundred others, and Mariam's YouTube channel, The Core Shift, which she has beautiful inspirational videos. Uh, please go on our YouTube channels and subscribe, and you can catch up on a lot of the material that I know you would enjoy having. So that's it. I will put um, links to our two YouTube channels in the comments section. So having done that little bit, Mariam? Talk to us about you yes. have a video on tapping specifically on tapping in general. So if somebody needs to look at the sequence after this, you can just go ahead and take a look. It takes you through the sequence of the tapping. So what is tapping? It is what what is called emotional freedom technique, which basically um, consists of series of tapping sequences that you do on specific pressure points. These are the points that stimulate production of endorphins and the happy hormones in your body. And also they reduce pain or anxiety and all that. So basically you can tap on anything. So today we're doing it on manifestation, which is not necessarily a physical thing that we're uh, doing, but I would say that um, it's very helpful to do this tapping while you're looking at, if you have like a picture of something you want to manifest, let's say if you have a vision board or you have some something you want to manifest to have like a visual cue for it. Uh, it's not a must, but it's really helpful. For example, if you want to write it out somewhere and look at it or have a picture of it, like a vision board, you know? Um, so while you're doing the sequence, you can emphasize what you're saying through the visual uh, cue. All that being said, just like with other manifestations we've done, again, get into a joyous state be calm and collected. If you have to close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths, by all means, just center yourself for a minute. And then you want to start, I'm going to explain the, the points now. This is what's referred to as the karate chop point. <laughs> Not surprising because, okay. So you can say something. This is when you do affirmations. It's very important to do affirmations while you're tapping. Okay, you say, I choose to manifest everything I want. I choose to harmonize with what I want to manifest. And I also love and accept myself completely. You can reward this any way you want, but generally this is the affirmation. I choose to harmonize with what I want to manifest and I love and accept myself completely. Three times. I choose to harmonize with what I manifest and I love and accept myself completely. Now, you come to the middle, the end of your eyebrows. You can do it with one hand, two fingers, or you can do it with two. I, I usually just do it this way. So just because it's easier. Now, don't tap yourself unconscious, <laughs> but you want to tap enough that you can feel it, okay? Not too hard, but you do want to feel that. So you can say, I give myself permission to manifest anything I want. I give myself permission to manifest anything I want. I deserve anything that I manifest. And that's yeah. next it's to the outside the of the eyes, socket, right? Yeah, the, uh, on the eye socket, right, right at the point of your eyes here. And you want to feel that as well. I give myself permission to manifest my heart's desire. 
Again, you come under the eyes, on the socket again, and you tap. I choose to harmonize with all I'm manifesting. I know I am deserving of what I want to manifest. Then you come under here, like right above your lids. I give myself permission to manifest what I want. Then do the same right here, right under the lips. I give myself permission to manifest that I want. Now, right under your collarbones, I didn't wear anything so I could show you. Right under your collarbones right here, those are the points. I choose to harmonize with all I'm manifesting. I choose to harmonize with all I'm manifesting. Now, under the <laughs> arms, ladies, for you is the bra line. I give myself permission to manifest anything I want. I choose to give myself permission to manifest anything I want. Now you come to the top of the head. Feels a little bit like monkeying around. <laughs> I give myself permission to manifest anything I want. Do that a few times. So now don't, don't tap too hard that you give yourself a headache, just gently. Give myself permission to manifest anything I want. Now, this is the complete sequence. You can close your eyes, take a deep breath, and you can rinse and repeat as many times as you want. But this is basically the sequence, and these are the points. So here you have it, folks, tapping. <laughs> All right. So before Mariam leads us in a tapping session, and I can tell you she is very good at this. I'm going to give you a small cautionary tapping tale about how I tapped in my dream man. So, um, so this was years and years ago. Um, one day I was frustrated. I was tired of being a single mom who worked way too many hours and um, I called a friend of mine, Katie, who is brilliant at tapping, and I was just venting to her. I was like, I'm so tired of being a overworked single mom. I'm just tired. I'm frustrated. You know, I wish you could tap me my dream man. And uh, she's like, okay, let's do that. And I went, really? <laughs> like, I thought I was just venting, but okay. Um, she told me, and Mariam when you take over, feel welcome to like restate anything that she had me do that you say, let's do it another way. Yeah, I'm just sharing an anecdote. She told me she wanted me to describe to her my dream man just off the top of my head. Like she had me open up and just like connect with the universe and then describe this man. She said, give as many details as you can because this is more of a law of attraction situation. This man is actually out there. I'm not describing a man that then the universe has to go and find this picky, detailed you know, uh, vision. I'm actually connecting with a man who already exists and, you know, and it's coming to me. So I was like, okay, I want him to be between six foot and six two. Uh, I want him to be like a big man, but not super muscular and not, you know, obese, but I don't want him to be the more fit one. I want to be more fit, but I want him to be fit, you know, <laughs> and I, I want to feel like I'm petite when he gives me a hug. Um, I want him to be some level of science or engineering, like an astrophysicist or a earth scientist, you know, somewhere that's a combination of like, you know, cosmology, theoretical physics and hard science. You know, I, I want him to enjoy like going out camping and hiking and fishing, but also then go to a nice restaurant or the Kennedy Center. I want him to be well-traveled, uh, well-read, but so fun, robust sense of humor so that he will laugh at me when I act, you know, like an idiot, like laughing with me, like, like I don't have to feel embarrassed. And um, 
let's see, I want him to love my children as much as any guy I'm dating could possibly love them. I want them to, their well-being to be really important to him and I want him to love hanging out with them. I want, um, what else? I mean, it was so picky. I want him to either be recently retired or on the verge of retirement. And uh, that was Wednesday morning. And then by a series of bizarre coincidences, I met him Friday evening. And he was um, a satellite engineer with like multiple masters and PhDs. He had just retired, but um, like governments all over the world would hire him to come and consult. He traveled all over the world helping with satellite maintenance design and stuff like that. Fascinating guy. Just everything I wished for, this guy was. And he like just thought I was the be all and end all. Even though he came from a hard science background, he loved the energy work that I do. And he wanted to learn about meditation, just fun and exciting. We'd go hiking together. We'd go to science lectures together, you know, my kids coming along and having a blast. We'd go out to nice places. We just, he was great, but I forgot to ask that I would be attracted to this man. And he's a great guy. Mm. I was like my perfect man. And I had uh, like a good guy to have as a friend, you know? <laughs> And also he was late for everything. Like all he had to arrange was himself to get somewhere. Why was I the one who had so much to coordinate with, you know, sitters and everything? Why was I the one who had to like always be waiting for him? That really irked me. So I had to release him back to the universe. So <laughs> um, the EFT worked. I, I think I got really detailed, but I was detailed on little technical things, not on what was really important. That I would like to find the love of my life and I'm the love of his life and we feel like all this joy together. That would have been enough. I didn't need to like, you know, but everything else was exactly, exactly as I tapped for. <laughs> I felt oh, so bad. This this stuff works, okay? Just pay attention to what it is you're tapping on mm -hmm. <laughs> when you are trying to manifest. Yes. The universe is a giving universe and wants to give you what you want. Just make sure you want what you think you need. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, you know, if you're tapping for a superficial, you're going to get superficial. Right. Right. Whatever... Yeah. You put the energy on that's what comes through so mm -hmm. just just watch out for that <laughs> <laughs> be careful what you wish for so let's see what should we tap on specifically today Anita, today let's keep it fun and light like um you know like a happy surprise or a lot of laughter or something something just like light and fun okay a happy surprise is good let's mm -hmm. do that then Okay, so just like just like the first time that we discussed that, you want to still put yourself in that relaxed, open, receiving mode, um, preferably having something joyous in mind. <laughs> For me to get it to that stage, just, just personally, all I have to do is just think of my cats or just look at them. They just put me immediately in that state of joy. So if any of you have any pets, that would be a shortcut to uh, joy um yeah there you go look at me whoa look at how sweet whoa. definitely we're now all of us are in a state of joy <laughs> all right so we start here we say i am manifesting a fun surprise a joyous surprise, word it any way you want. I am manifesting a joyous surprise and I completely love myself. I am deserving of manifesting a joyous surprise and I absolutely completely love and accept myself. I am manifesting 
joy surprise and I completely accept and love myself. All right. So you come to the eyebrow points. Say, I am deserving of a joyous surprise. I am deserving of a joyous surprise. The end points of your eyes on the eye socket. I am manifesting a joyous surprise. I am choosing to manifest a joyous surprise. Now under the eyes, I am choosing to manifest a joyous surprise. I am choosing to manifest a joyous surprise. Joyous surprise is coming my way. Joyous surprise is coming my way. I am deserving of the joyous surprise that's coming my way. I totally deserve this joyous surprise that's coming my way. Collarbone points. I am manifesting a joyous surprise. I am manifesting a joyous surprise. Under the arm, bra line. I am manifesting a joyous surprise. I deserve this joyous surprise that I'm manifesting. I am choosing to manifest a joyous surprise. I am choosing to manifest a joyous surprise. And there you have it. Taking a deep breath. And slowly release. <laughs> <laughs> So come on, share with us afterwards what you manifested. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And feel welcome to like hop in and do this. And we'll put in the uh, comments the link to, Mariam, you have a video you said on your YouTube channel on tapping? Yes, I do have a, yeah. an actual tapping video. And yeah. feel free to leave comments on our YouTube channels. It doesn't have to be Facebook. Just come on the YouTube channels and leave us Leave us your comments. Absolutely. Well, I have a wonderful, surprisingly joyous day, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.